Hi everyone, it's Becky here. Welcome to another new video on my YouTube channel. And today I am at Brewery District in Sapperton, New Westminster, outside Pick 5 Cafe, one of my favorite cafes. Uh, here I'm going in. As you can see, it's uh, almost uh, 11 o'clock and it's quite busy here. I ordered my favorite uh, things from the menu, breakfast wrap, a blueberry skin, and here's my brand new sketchbook, the Etcher Mixed Media Sketchbook. Cracking it open today. And I'm gonna keep testing my new sailor's fountain pen. So I'm gonna start sketching my cup of coffee, uh, starting with a contour outline, the ellipse of the opening of the cup, the body part. Now I'm ready to attach my gooseneck tripod, clamp it to the edge of the table so I can attach my phone on top. As you can see right now to have a really perfect view of my sketching surface. So after drawing the general outline of the cup, now having fun drawing these lively curves of the uh, drips of syrup, more inner details, uh, the logo of the cafe are these uh, clocks. Okay, so that's it, the drawing part for the coffee cup. Now I'm ready to draw the contour outline of the skin, which is never a perfect circle. The thickness of the skin, and then using very gentle hand pressure, holding the pen very much 90 degrees to the paper to get these very thin lines for the folds, wrinkles on the skin. Uh, the brown napkin on the bottom, which is a really interesting shape in contrast with the circular skin. And a little dish on the very bottom, the brim of the dish. Okay, and that's it for the drawing of this blueberry scone. Now it's time to draw my breakfast wrap with sausage and eggs. Starting with the uh, essential outline of the two halves, the napkin underneath, the opening of half of the wrap. Starting to use lively shapes to define the pieces of eggs and sausage using an almost blind contour drawing technique to speed up and the grill mark um, on, the, on, the, on the exterior of the wrap. Um, it's also served with a little, little bit of ketchup to dip, which is really nice to taste with the egg and the sausage. And the contour outline of the larger dish, accentuate, and that's it for the drawing part of my food and drink. Now it's time to have fun painting watercolors. I'm using Mongjiu watercolors towel, and two water brushes from Holbein brand. And my goal for sketching my food and drink is to finish the painting before everything gets cold. Let's see if I success again this time. Yeah, so just wetting everything with a diluted yellow ochre mixed with a little bit lemon yellow for some other areas, a bit of orange brown, uh, for some darker shaded areas on the skin and the wrap. Uh, raw umber diluted for the uh, napkin paper. Uh, diluted red for the first layer. And then more concentrated red to shade the left side of the cup because the window is on the right. And then using more concentrated orange brown and more brown or burnt sienna to shade the skin and the grow marks on the wrap. Some leftover red for the ketchup and more concentrated for the next layer. Usually I paint just like two quick layers. And using some leftover yellow and brown to paint the eggs and sausage in there. Uh, same for the grill mark, more concentrated brown. And just using some diluted raw umber, perfect tone for the napkin. And another gentle layer of diluted orange brown for the edge of the uh, caramel macchiato, apparently, and the middle part is shining of a white foam. Um, using a leftover bluish gray to give shadows for the wrap, the skin, and to shade the dishes. So as I often mentioned in my previous videos, I love painting shadows. It just makes everything pop from the paper and give a really nice 3D effect. Just uh, yeah, accentuate the shadows for everything. And then shade uh, the paper cup, another layer of more intense red, red purple. Leftover gray to shade the left side of the white area of the cup a little bit more. And that's it. 
So the guy sitting opposite to me、uh, wanted to take a picture. So that's why I was smiling. So here's the finished look of my sketches of the food, enjoying the lovely car caramel macchiato, and the wrap is really good. It's a, almost 11:30 now. After I enjoyed my brunch, I'm gonna sketch these people in front of me, including the guy who took a photo of me for his wife,、uh, who's also interested in、uh, in art or sketching. And the, the two ladies on the right hand side、um, was mermaid style hair. Okay, just doing some quick hand gesture measurement. So I usually don't use a pencil to do drafting unless the scenery is very complicated with a huge sense of perspective. So yeah, I already have a pretty clear mental image of what I want to include. First of all, is the clock. So because I want to include a large portion of the people, I'm pushing the clock a bit outside my frame a little bit, and it's also more fun to compose this way. When you're sketching a scenery, you don't have to include everything perfectly inside your page frame. Yeah, so I just drew the lovely clock, which is a nice、um, symbol of time. Now, starting to draw the hat of the guy, which is half a sphere, the brim of the hat with a sense of thickness, contour outline of his nose, his lips, eyeglasses, and eyes looking down, swiping on his phone, the ear, a bit of details, hairline, mustache, a bit more intense hair. He's Indian, so he's dark haired. Uh, neck area covered by the collar. One side of his body, buttons, very nice.、Uh, collar and shoulder, and the other side of his body showing a little bit. His sleeve, elbow, and the watch on his wrist is echoing with the big clock behind. So it's a really really nice、uh, echoing element that I have here. And his four fingers, the thumb is on the other side holding the phone. Uh, adding some more facial details, his light beard, and just adding some just extra, not super necessary details for his uh, jacket, uh, the letters on the chest area, and some wrinkles, accentuations here and there. That's it. Now I'm ready to move on to drawing this girl.、Uh, she has a beautiful、uh, teal color hair. Started drawing the top part of the hair, the ponytail, and the tied-up area, and then these、uh, strands of hair in the pile draping down. Very cool. And、uh, her neck, and her shirt, and a little bit of the shoulder, and actually the hood of her shirt. Accentuate between the two parts of the hair. Now I'm ready to move on to drawing her friend. Starting with the shape of the hair,、uh, and then the cheek. Eyebrows, eyes looking down, looking at the phone as well, but it was a nice smile. And shoulders and and the、uh, arm and elbow. Yeah, drawing these two ladies are much easier than drawing that guy closer up. So yeah, it was fun. Yeah, so the hardest part of this、uh, sketch is done. It's the portrait of these three people. So now it's time to relax and、um, get these other essential elements. I love the lamps. Uh, they are kind of illuminating these people, so I just drew one, the bulb, the hood, and the wire holding it up, and the other lamp, yeah, on the other side, nice symmetry here,、uh, giving a nice balance to this sketch, and the wire attaching it to the、uh, to the border of the shelf,、uh, yeah, a lot of vertical lines, but I'm trying to get my my vertical lines a little less perfect. Enjoying the drawing process. This is a really lovely cafe to sketch.、Uh, the table is really big and spacious, and have a lot of nice customers around me chit chatting,、uh, drawing these books and boxes of games. Their merchandise, coffee packages, cups, and wine bottles. Nice elements. So these bottles kind of overlapping with a lamp hood. So just keep the outlines pretty vague for the bottles. More bottles on the upper shelf here. So these shelf cubicles, they are、uh, rectangular prisms carved out from、um, from a flat surface, as you can imagine. Just using、um, the other fountain pen, the bamboo green one with a fifty-five degree bent nib. 
uh, right over here, just so I can shade these uh, areas faster. So one of the advantages of this uh, bamboo green sailor's view they found the pen is that I can shade big areas pretty quickly. And then switching back to my deep indigo one with a 40 degree bent nib when drawing these fine lined details, like the little items displayed on, on these cubicles. Yeah, very fun stuff. And just adding a bit more frame details for the TV here, LG brand, and some shading for the inside of the cubicles. So this image of a tropical area was, you know, swimming pools and palm trees just flash in the TV for two seconds. I used my memory to get a TV image done, which was fun. And uh, drawing more of these rectangular shapes of cubicles and uh, shading with my bamboo green, switching back to my other pen for fine lining details. Yeah, it's kind of fun to work with the, both of these sailors few they found in pens. More bottles over here. And then switching back to the bamboo few they found in pen to quickly shape these inner walls of the cubicles, which gives a lot of contrast. Yeah, and the shadow of the clock and the window frame over here. And same for my lutterings, accentuations. Accentuations give a lot of contra contrast to an image. And now, yeah, the ladies are still here. The guy is still here working on his laptop, getting a little tired, and old couple just arrived as well. Very interesting people at this cafe always showing up. And now I'm ready to paint watercolors. So beginning with wetting the whole area very much with clear water, so just easier for the color to spread out and diffuse smoothly with the, uh, with the tissue of the paper. Yeah, putting on a bit of uh, actually super diluted lemon yellow mixed with yellow ochre for the illuminated surfaces. Very much everything is illuminated by the lamp lights and a bit of daylight from outside the windows. Yeah, closer to the lamps, um, it's pretty illuminated with a yellow-orange glow. So I noticed that the two ladies are about to leave, so I just want to get their, uh, their hair and other features done. Uh, starting with this nice teal color and a blue turquoise for this lady's hair, uh, playing with different ratios of cobalt blue and lime green. Uh, the upper part of this lady's hair is actually brown. Uh, yeah, very nice shades. And the colors are looking so magical. It's actually my favorite color, teal and turquoise. Uh, uh, skin color is a mix of orange and red diluted with a lot of water. Yeah, for all of these people at the same time to save time from switching between colors and cleaning the brushes. A little bit of uh, red brown for the cheeks, especially the guy in the foreground. Uh, same for, the, for this lady here showing her face. A bit more for the back of the hand. So other than the uh, two matching clocks, the clock on the wall and the clock on the man's wrist, I can also see matching colors. Uh, the red on the brim of the guy's hat and the theme color of the cafe. Yeah, a nice vibrant red and then using the leftover bluish gray to paint the black hat, shaded a little bit with a more concentrated gray. And I also want to shade uh, the sepia color of this girl's hair with a more concentrated brown, yeah, for higher contrast. And for the mermaid hair of this ladies, yeah, the other side is actually of a darker shade. And now these two ladies are standing up and getting ready to leave now, and they notice my sketch, and they, uh, they seem pretty happy of them being included in this sketch. Now I'm just painting the, uh, the lamp area with diluted yellow and orange. The illuminated environment, yeah, and I always love, you know, including and painting light bulbs. Okay, now it's time to have fun painting these little thingies, the merchandise items uh, with some leftover red for the logos on those coffee packages, um, some red books. Now it's time to paint uh, the guy's jacket, mixing, mixing my own black using cobalt blue, purple, and a little bit leftover green. I remember her jacket is actually a purplish color. Um, and then shade 
the guys, yeah, this part of the jacket is very much intense black, like doo-doo's black fur. So I just used like pure black for that part of the guy's jacket to accentuate the style. It's kind of like a baseball, like sport style jacket. Okay, now it's time to uh, paint in these gray areas. The inside of these cubicles was leftover gray. Really enjoying the process finishing up this sketch. Shade the wall a little bit with super diluted gray, uh, some more reds. And painting the brim of the clock with leftover gray, being mindful leaving some parts shining white of the paper. Um, and some more leftover grays for the, uh, for the exterior and inside of the cubicles, playing with lively grays by having different ratios of blue, purple, and green. Same for the TV, the brim of the TV is shining a little bit as well. And just one quick little tip for you is that when you're painting black things, you don't have to use uh, the jet black from your palette. You can always mix your own lively dark grays. It's very hard to see perfect black in the natural world. And just painting uh, the swimming pool, the tropical sky with leftover uh, teal color echoing with the lady's hair. Shadow of the lamp landing on the wall there. Final polish and shading here and there. Just keeping the shade color, not the shadows, but the shade color on the wall, a pretty diluted gray, mostly just water. And that's very much it. Here's the look of my finished sketch. As usual, it took me about one hour and 30 minutes to draw and paint everything on this page. So thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. If you like it, please click like and leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for weekly updates. Now, everybody's gone in front of me and it's time to go home. I had a really wonderful morning here at the cafe. See you again very soon next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.